Question guys, is Denver getting a WNBA team? Let's talk about it. What is up awesome people of the internet? Uh, WNBA fans have been talking about league expansion for a while now, and it seems that Denver might be next in line. Um, that's because WNBA commissioner Kathy Engelbert visited Denver to meet with investors and tour potential facilities. Now, before we really get into the story, let me remind you of the most recent timeline for expansion talks. Uh, since Kathy became a commissioner, uh, she has had expansion on her mind. In June of 2022, she said that the league had narrowed down the list of potential cities to 10 to 12 cities with the hopes of expanding expansion teams by the end of that year. But as we all know, uh, that target came and it went. And in December of 2022, Kathy pushed the expansion year to 2025 at the earliest. Uh, she even said that they were not in a rush to expand. Fast forward to May of this year, and Kathy um, indicated that the league has narrowed the potential list of cities down to 10, and Denver did make that cut. Other areas under consideration include the Bay Area, Nashville, Toronto, Austin, Denver, Charlotte, Philadelphia, and Portland. In May, we saw the WNBA go to one of those cities, Toronto, to play a preseason game between the Chicago Sky and Minnesota Lynx. And that was a very, very big game. I believe I've made a video about that game. So if you wanna um, check that out, just click right up here and you can watch um, sort of a recap of that game in Toronto. And finally, this month, uh, Kathy mentioned expansion again. She said, we need more than 12 teams. We need to be in some big cities in this country where our demographics and psychographics and all our data and information shows there's some great markets out there for WNBA basketball. So from that, we can tell that the league is very, very serious about expansion. So now with that out of the way, let's specifically talk about this Denver visit. Last week, Kathy Engelbert alongside Todd DeMoss, the WNBA's Associate Vice President of Basketball Operations, made their way down to the Mile High City. The goal? to meet with an investment group that is itching to bring a WNBA franchise to Denver. And while in Denver, Kathy was also greeted by a group of kids. They wanted to greet her and express their support for the WNBA. The WNBA team in Denver just so much more encouragement for young girls trying to get into sports. Which is why this group of young hoopers gathered outside of Union Station Wednesday. Obviously the Nuggets are great, NBA champs, but it would just be great to have a WNBA team here too. These athletes want the WNBA's next franchise to be here in Denver. Now let's talk about this investment team that the WNBA met with. I am not from Denver, but the investment group looks like some serious movers and shakers in Colorado. We've got Robert Cohen. He is the chairman and CEO of IMA Financial Group. Naveen Diamond, the CEO and co-founder of Stonebridge Companies. It is a hospitality and hotel development company. We also have Naveen's daughter, Ashley Diamond, who is Stonebridge's director of strategy. So this trio has been in talks about expansion since 2021 and informal uh, chats with the WNBA kicked off in 2022. Now, before we go all in on Denver's WNBA dreams, let's kind of throw it back for a sec. You see, Colorado actually has some serious history with pro women's basketball. We had the Colorado Explosion, uh, the state's first women's basketball team formed in 1996, and it was a part of the American Basketball League or the ABL for short. Before we keep going, a uh, quick segue. Uh, let me know if you want me to make a video about the ABL. Um, the ABL is a league that was short-lived, but it had a huge amount of impact while it was around for the, for the couple years that it was there. Um, there are a lot of famous players uh, that you know of right now that played in the ABL. Um, we also have some players that you have never heard of that played in the ABL that were transcendent. There were amazing, amazing players that really do um, deserve some spotlight and some shine. Um, so let me know if you want me to make a video about the ABL. I likely will anyway, but um, let me know specifically if you have a, a specific interest um, in the ABL and I can, I can include that in the video. All right, uh, back to the Colorado Explosions. Uh, so their first season, um, they snagged the conference championship. 
Um, now there's a bunch of stuff I can say about the explosion, but here are two things that I found very, very fascinating about two of their players. Now, have y'all ever heard of uh, Sylvia Crawley? She is the assistant coach at North Carolina right now, but back in the day, she played in the ABL um, for the Colorado Explosions. And before Lisa Leslie ever dunked in a Sparks uniform, Sylvia Crawley did this. I think this is for real. I don't think she's taking this off. I think she's going for it. Sylvia Crawley, this is history in the making. The first ever women's professional basketball player. And she's doing it Now this dunk was made blindfolded to win the ABL slam dunk contest that took place on January 18th, 1998. Yes, you heard me right. The ABL had a women's slam dunk contest. Like, have you even heard of that? I think a lot of women's basketball fans nowadays have never even heard of this slam dunk contest that took place in 1998. Um, and don't worry if you have never heard of this, no worries. Uh, I'm actually gonna be making a special video specifically about this slam dunk contest. Uh, keep an eye out for that. Now back to the second um, Colorado explosion player I want to talk about. So uh, this comes from uh, five foot three, Debbie Black, who on December 8, uh, 1996, had 10 points, 14 rebounds, 12 assists, Okay, you may say, okay, triple-double, that's great. But in this same game, she had 10 steals. That's right, not only did Debbie Black have a triple-double, which is very, very impressive, she also had an unheard of quadruple-double. 10 points, 14 rebounds, 12 assists, 10 steals. Um, I just thought that that was pretty impressive. And to be quite honest with you, I had never heard of Debbie Black before I started doing this research. And I thought it was cool. And I just wanted to share this little uh, history lesson with you all. Uh, now, the explosion was a blast, uh, definite pun intended. Um, you get it, Colorado um, explosion, you know, um, avalanche. I don't know. Uh, that's not really funny, I guess, kind of it is, I don't know. Anyway, um, sadly, the explosion uh, disbanded in 1998 after the ABL fell apart due to the rise of the WNBA. Um, the Colorado Chill uh, eventually swooped in um, in 2023 uh, to fill the women's basketball hole in Colorado. Uh, the Chill played in the National Women's Basketball League from 2003 to 2006. Uh, let me know if you also want me to make a video about this particular league. The Chill were actually pretty good. They uh, clinched two championships along the way, along their couple of years uh, in the National Women's Basketball League. And this part that I'm about to say, I cannot find multiple sources to corroborate this. Um, I can only see this on um, the Colorado Chill's Wikipedia page. There are links um, in the notes. However, those links give me errors. So if you are in Colorado, um, and you know anything about what I'm about to say, um, let me know in the comments. So keep this in mind that, um, this is from Wiki, this particular part is going to be from Wikipedia. It may or may not be true. I, I think it might be, uh, cause I'm not sure why someone would like put random lies about a random, um, women's basketball team. But anyway, now, okay, let's get into it. Uh, so according to the Colorado Chills Wikipedia page in 2007, investors tried but failed to raise enough money to move the Colorado Chill to the WNBA. There was a chance that um, if the Chill raised enough money, they could have been in the WNBA, but they didn't raise enough money and the team eventually folded. Um, but hey, Colorado has a resilient spirit um, and the time seems to be right for Denver to finally make its WNBA debut. Um, after meetings with the WNBA and the investment group, uh, we didn't hear 
anything official sort of recapping this meeting. However, I did see some photos uh, that Rachel Galligan posted on Twitter, and it seems like uh, Colorado's governor, uh, Jared Polis, was also in attendance at a uh, function um, that Kathy Engelbert attended in Denver. All right, guys, those are the facts as we know it right now. Now, in terms of my personal opinion, I think we should probably hear something in the next six to eight months uh, about the possible pool of cities narrowing. I don't think we will have uh, concrete um, confirmations in terms of like the next two or four teams that will be joining the WNBA. Uh, But I think that pool will get a little bit smaller. Um, And I do feel like Denver has a very, very solid shot at getting a WNBA team. And the reason I say that is because Denver has embraced the, the Nuggets, right? They just won a, w, uh, a NBA championship. And Denver has uh, a couple of um, professional teams, but Denver does not have any women's uh, professional team. There is no women's soccer team league. There's no, um, you know, women's basketball league or significant women's basketball league that is um in Colorado right now and I think people seem to be really game to have a women's basketball in Denver um, because it's a sports town and they don't have any um women's basketball teams and so this could be pretty fun um also I think that you know the fact that um Denver's or Colorado's uh, governor was at one of the functions that Kathy attended. It, I think it kind of shows how serious uh, Colorado is to try to make a WNBA team work. Um, and I personally would just love to see a women's basketball team in Colorado uh, because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's another West Coast team. Um, and this could just be just another sort of hub. Um, Yes, the Bay Area is trying to get a team and that's all well and good. Um, However, I think the diversity of having um, another uh, West Coast team that is not in California, um, I think that could be pretty great. Also, I just think that it's an untapped um, market of sorts. Um, You know, Colorado... Uh, in general, when it comes to women's sports. Yes, I did mention two teams uh, that, you know, Colorado previously had, um, but I, I just feel like t- like it's it's ripe. Like everyone is ready for more WBA teams. And it seems like, uh, you know, this Denver group, this Denver investment group has a good amount of backing. Again, I am not from Denver, so I don't truly, truly know these uh, these people in this investment group besides, you know, their accolades. Um, but I think that should be pretty fun. You know, there are other teams, as I mentioned, that are under consideration. We have the Bay Area, Nashville, Toronto, Austin, Denver, Charlotte, Philadelphia, and Portland. And I think it would be really, really fun to have Portland and Denver get a team on the West Coast and then possibly, you know, uh, possibly Nashville and Philadelphia, um, I think would be really, really fun um, for sort of the, the the East Coast teams, though I'm not sure if, if Tennessee is considered um, West Coast or East Coast. I, I'm not even sure. <laughs> I got to look at a map. <laughs> um, but I think those four cities, I would be very, very interested in seeing a team. Um, this is not me saying that I don't like the Bay Area or Toronto or Austin or or Charlotte. Um, but I just, in terms of just thinking about like new, new untapped uh, audiences, um, I think, you know, Denver, Philadelphia, Portland, Nashville are really interesting to me. Um, and I would love to see a team play, uh, a WNBA team play there. Um, though I will say that um, the Bay Area, um, I, I, I watched... A while ago, I watched a um, a discussion about the Bay Area um, possibly getting a WNBA team, 
and I feel like it was a presser of some sort um, where a group was sort of like petitioning the league to get a team. Um, I need to revisit that. Uh, the Bay Area could be a really good team. Um, they have a lot of support. I'm just sort of thinking about um, sort of sort of a state diversity in terms of having um, another state get a WNBA team. So, so California doesn't have two teams, but I mean, it's far enough. The Bay area is far enough from LA where it'd probably be fine. But anyway, um, that's kind of my thoughts about that. I will also say, um, that, you know, um, while Colorado does have a history of women's basketball, uh, they could be on the brink of some serious WNBA action. And I'm excited for it. Um, it, do you think this is a slam dunk? Uh, for, you know, Denver getting a WNBA team. Should we start thinking about what a name could be for this Denver team? Um, I really, really like the Colorado Chill. Like, I really, really like that name. Um, I can't really think of any other possible names. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think this Denver team should be called. Uh, yeah. Let me know in the, in the comments and, um, Maybe if, if we can get a lot of um, different suggestions, I'll make a poll um, on my community tab and we can and we can all vote on what we think the this Denver team could be called. Also, uh, let me know about your overall thoughts about expansion. Um, what cities do you think that the WNBA should go for next? I'm thinking it's likely gonna be four teams that, that they're gonna announce or, or maybe they'll stagger it and do two and two. Um, but let me know. Uh, in the comments, what you think about expansion, also what states uh, you think need to get another team and what cities in those states. Um, also, did you all learn anything new about uh, either the that the explosion or uh, the chill? Um, let me know. Uh, during this during research for this this uh, video, actually, I learned quite a bit. Like I dive deep in the histories of um, of those teams teams that personally I'd never heard of before. Um, and so if you want more um, sort of history lessons about women's basketball, let me know. And I will make sure to do that because I just find it very, very fascinating. All right, guys, that is a wrap on this video. Thank you all so much for joining us for our deep dive into Denver's possible WNBA dreams. Um, I don't know about you, but I have for sure got my fingers crossed um, that Denver gets a team and I would love to be at Denver's inaugural WNBA game. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. This is your sports loving friend, signing off. Until next time, guys. Bye.